Thanks, Will. How do we follow you live over at the Newport International Boat Show? I shall tell you how with this fine guest right here. You know her, you love her, Natalia Pivanevs from Udenis joins us right here. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome back. It is my pleasure, as always. Finally, the two of us doing a segment I together. I keep took so long. <laughs> I know. I think you've been avoiding me. <laughs> I keep running into you at various places That's around, right. coming back on the road to it. Finally, it's us together. I know. It's us. Just us. For your favorite dish. I love it. Fish stew. Talk to me about the ingredients. All right. So one of the reasons why I chose the fish stew is because we are in abundance of really great fresh fish that's coming right of our Rhode Island waters. All right. In particular, the hake. We have some tatag. You can make fish stew with whatever uh, fish you get locally, but it has some some uh, red onions, some tomatoes, some cilantro, parsley. You choose which one you like. There are people that are diehards for cilantro, and there are people who hate it. So if you don't like the cilantro, use the parsley, and here's everything else that's going in. I am easily mesmerized and easily distracted, but today I have a good reason because I'm staring at the colors that are so vibrantly popping right <laughs> off the screen right there, Natalia. For you, it must be a joy to work with all these ingredients and to just put it all together. Yeah, this is like my art. <laughs> This is my canvas. <laughs> we, well, you know, a little later on, I'm going to take that footage and put some music to it right there because we've created a new type of dance craze. But remind everyone of where you're located. Udanish is such a, a popular spot. Everyone yeah. loves it. It is 579 Warren Avenue. It is a great traditional Portuguese restaurant. And we really do focus on seasonal ingredients and local fish. I know you do. And people just have come to know and really uh, make your restaurant a part of their own lives. Uh, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Cannot wait to watch you put this all together. This is Nat Natalia from Udini. She's here for the entire morning making the fish stew, and we've already created our own new dance craze right here, or a magic act. I don't know what it is. Either <laughs> way, back to you. It is a dream in the kitchen here as well, Will, because we are here with Natalia from Udinish and we are making fish stew on the menu today. Good morning, Natalia. Oh, good morning. Welcome back. We're so excited to have you. We love so when you're here. here. All so of happy. your meals are so fresh and delicious. And this is a good one today. It doesn't look too difficult, so you're going to kind of walk me through how we're going to put the fish stew together, and this is a, a traditional dish. This is a very traditional dish. Very, very simple. Mm -hmm. This is not intimidating in the least bit. What you're going to have to think about is the fish that you're using. Okay. In this case, we have this beautiful fresh hake. Okay. And is, tell yes, tell us what hake is. It is from our coastline, and it is a very white, mild, mm. flaky fish. But it is a very large fish. So at the yeah, I'm surprised. I wasn't expecting. I almost thought it looked like a swordfish. It's so meaty. It's very meaty, but it's very white and light mm. and flaky. So it cooks super quickly, which is why you need to cut your potatoes of that size because okay. you want everything to cook at the same time. Okay, that's a really good and tip. It's, and it takes on flavor very quickly and it cooks really quickly yeah so this goes really fast okay so we're gonna put one together and we have yes. to talk about these beautiful beautiful pans now I think they look like show pieces but you cook in these all the time I cook in these all the time so this is the little one this is just from mm -hmm. me and my husband this is the one for the family this is usually for like four people this okay is usually for two people when you're in Portugal this is called the cataplana yeah and when you're in Portugal this is actually served at the table when you order the rice dishes mm -hmm. or the fish stew like we're making today and it's super simple and it makes sense because as you were saying, if you have something with shells, you can just put the put shells on the other side, so which is like, I feel like that's brilliant. Like, how is this it not is. what we all do all Clean the time? Cleanup <laughs> is easy. Just throw it on the other side. All right, let's get started. What, right, are, what are we what putting we in? We need some olive oil in okay. the pan with the onions, and you could just put like half of that olive half oil, of this, half. Okay. The rest of it, you're going to drizzle on top of the fish. Okay. And this is because we're going to yes, be putting why the paprika okay. on top of the fish, and we're going to be putting a little bit of the crushed red pepper on top. Okay. That's great. Yep, perfect. Okay. Then in the pan, yep. we're going to throw in the onions, just the whole thing. Okay. Just throw the whole thing in, and the garlic you just dump. Dump and go. Dump this and go. Why dump this is and so go. so easy. That's kind garlic of how I cook. In, dump and go. Dump and go. <laughs> um, some of the red peppers and okay. the tomatoes. These are really great fresh vegetables that we... So some of the tomatoes right now, you could be getting it from your garden, mm -hmm. so use those. That's perfect. Okay. So then we're going to sprinkle the smoked paprika on top okay. of the fish. All right, tell me. I like it liberal. I like okay. to do a little bit of the paprika all over it. And then we're going to- Because it's not really a super strong flavor, it's not. right? And this one is slightly smoked, so it's got a really great flavor Oh, to I it. like that. So how will that be different from like a normal paprika? The other one is sweet. Totally okay. different flavors. That's interesting. Now, if you don't have the smoke, don't worry about it. Use the regular paprika. Is that about right? That's perfect. Okay. And then we're going to put some crushed red pepper. I left a spoon right there. You put the crushed red I pepper right on top. I love red pepper. We're Me putting too. it on top of here? On top of there and okay. some in here, oh, half and half. Right. Because I like to baste the fish with a little bit. Perfect. Okay. 
This is perfect. Here and so when we like, do, when I put it on top of the fish here, am I kind of gonna like take the spoon and like it. smear it? Smear it. That's like smear exactly it. the term that I would have wanted love to that. use. We're just gonna smear it up. And then this we're going to. Great. This is my salt. I know this is a little bit cheesy and tacky, but this is my salt. It's Portuguese sea salt, and we're just gonna sprinkle. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now. In there, we're going to add like half of those potatoes and sprinkle this with some salt. Okay, so I'm putting the potatoes, just half of them in here. Half of okay. the potatoes, just dump it in. Perfect. Now you have to cut the potatoes this size. So then it's cooking the at the same. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna let you do that. I thought maybe you didn't want to go to that <laughs> well, extreme. Well, I mean, I would do it, but I, I just don't know what I'm doing. So. Then we're going to drizzle some great wine okay. over it, and do pick a great wine. Okay, I was going to ask you that, that you're because you're going to drink. Okay, so you that you should drink with the one you cook Absolutely. with. Absolutely. Now, what is this white wine? Because this I'm I'm familiar with the Vino Verde Portuguese wine, which we have one here, which and is I I so really fabulous. enjoy that. I this really enjoy is, that. Vino Verde is really fantastic, yeah. and that's a very very traditional yep. Portuguese wine. This is a white wine. It's okay. fantastic, and it's going to go great with this. Mm. Don't forget your bread. So, so how could I ever just <laughs> at this point? You okay, can yes. Do one of two things. Okay. Either you can add your uh, herbs, or I like to let it cook a little bit. Okay, more get it. In there and right then put at it the end. end. Yes. Okay. Die hard. All right. So let's show so our finished one. Here's this is already done. Wait, hot. Okay. See, this is why she is the actual chef. Look so at that. this is the how it will look when it's done. And would you close this off and how long would you let that go for? You go, that's probably about 15, 20 minutes. Okay, and then at the end we're gonna throw in the herbs and it's gonna look that's beautiful like, like that. And your bread and your wine, and you can't go wrong. The recipe is up right now at roadshow.com so you can make it or just go to Udinish and have her make it for you. Just come here. That's you.